This is what happened this morning. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm very calm. Okay. I'm driving in this morning, and it was a, th- there was crazy traffic today. It was crazy traffic. Now, I, I'm not even paying attention. I'm just doing my thing, listening to my book on how to gaslight women. Yeah. And, and I men. listened to a chapter with them. <laughs> and men. Really good. And men, not really just women. Good. Yeah, yeah, dude. What's the book? The Laws of Human Nature by Robert oh, Greene. It's yeah. a follow up to 48 Laws, 48 of Power. Laws of Power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but honestly, if you just apply it to de- uh, destroying women that love you, mm-hmm. it is actually super effective. Like, it really is. You could really just. You really hollow out a woman. <laughs> right, right, right. Spiritually. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so listen to that. And I, maybe I wasn't paying attention. I have no idea, right? All I know is like I'm in the middle of the, the street and I guess a light had turned, right? So, you know, when you, when you, I, I should have probably waited a little bit. To not block the box. Yeah, to not block the, but regardless, I'm not even really blocking it. I, I'm pulled up, like cars can get through. So a guy's walking on the right hand side, kind of a short, like maybe Hispanic guy, might be Puerto Rican, might be Italian. But he goes, he's like, you got a red light, you f-ing ass. He does that. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I was like, yeah, what? And I had my window, I rolled my window, and I was like, what'd you say, buddy? What'd you say? And he couldn't hear me. He was already walking. I was like, Ooh. so then I drive, and I, I pull over, and oh, I see f-ing faces still walking up the street. Nice. <laughs> I see. Faces that yeah. he happens to be in my path. Yeah. Okay. God wanted me to be here, right? Right. So I um I get out of my car. There is the, he, God also always gives you a chance to like de-escalate and <laughs> <Yeah>. let it go. <laughs> yes. And you don't. Look, God gives you an infinite amount of choices every day. In your yeah, life, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I did not de-escalate. I escalate. I'll say that right now. I escalated. You escalated. I definitely escalated. All right. But it's fun to escalate. So I was like, "What the f- you say, buddy? <laughs> what the fuck you say?" Uh huh. So he's like, I said you were blocking traffic. I said, no, no, no. You said I'm a fucking ass and then I was blocking traffic. Right, right, right. Which is not necessary. No, no, no. At this point, I'm tw- I'm twice the man's size. No, it wasn't necessary for him. To- he started it. Oh, it wasn't necessary. And nothing was necessary with this interaction. Yeah. None of it was necessary. Nothing that I did, straight up to the point where I was blocking traffic. None right. of it was necessary, okay? But he's a little fucking dickhead, mm-hmm. right? And I'm a hothead, too. I admit that, yeah. right? How old was he? Maybe my age, yeah, okay. you know, you know, a, a guy that was maybe forty, maybe thirty-five. Who knows? Yeah, okay. So, um, so I I curse at him. He curses. No, he 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 starts walking away, right? And then he does the move where he's like fifteen he's, feet away, yeah, like twenty different. Yeah, yeah. Chances he to, left yeah, again, yeah. but then he does the move where he's like twelve feet away or fifteen feet away, yeah. and he goes fuck. Uh-huh. Which everyone knows that I do not like that word. Okay. Right, yeah. yeah. I, I'm very anti gay. It's a hurtful word. It is a very hurtful word, okay? Not in yeah. this day and age, bucko. Yeah. Okay. Are I would you, say anti gay to... slur, not it's just anti gay. I'm anti gay. Everyone okay. knows that about me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, not in this day and age, not yeah. today. He used a homophobic slur. He used a homophobic slur. So then I was like, what'd you say? I always give I give him another opportunity. <laughs> I give, now yeah. I'm playing God. Right, right, I'm right. giving him an opportunity to walk away. Right. I was like, "What'd you say?" Right. By the way, from this interaction, Lewis is either an ass or deaf so far. <laughs> yeah. He has repeatedly asked this man what he said. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes. He goes. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> he goes. You are a. F- <laughs> this guy's a pretty real ass dude. So look, 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 yeah, so real ass dude of the week. <laughs> he might get real ass dude of the week. <laughs> this guy's undefeated in this interaction so far. So I start to run up on him. Yeah. Okay. I start to run up on him. Uh-huh. Okay. But I do it in a way where you can hear my feet coming nice and heavy. Yeah. Right. Now, does bother you when somebody? No, I let him talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it. it it's not that it bothers me. Obviously, it's because it's not the word that bothers me. It's yeah. like, you just see red. You're just brought back yeah, to being yeah, a yeah. child. It's idiotic. It's right. all stupid. It okay? Stupid. I am admitting this. I, if I can go and tap myself on the shoulder, mm-hmm. I would have been like, don't even ask him again. Go right. Just hit him, sir. Yeah. Just, no, I wouldn't do it. I, I When cooler heads prevail, like yeah. obviously, it's dumb. Yeah. So I start, start to like like quickly go up behind him. I was like, what would you say? What yeah. the you say? So now yeah. I'm calling him a you yeah, wrong, yeah. so make it right. Yeah, he turns around, he spins around, and he's got a box cutter in his hand, nice. a long ass fucking box cutter. <laughs> <laughs> the blade was long. Yeah, dude, it yeah. was like it was because well, you're not supposed to pull the whole blade out. Doggy, he went. They, shing, break, they it, snap off. Doggy, this shit was okay. <laughs> it was so long and wild. I was yeah, like, okay, yeah, yeah. I need to interject here. In this guy's defense, 
Lewis was dressed as a box. <laughs> Lewis went full solid snake. He was, yeah, he was working for Amazon. <laughs> Doggy, I, um, <laughs> no, my first reaction, I saw it. Yeah. And I went to do a front, I tried to front kick it out of his hand. Okay. Right. Just snap kick, front kick. Okay. And I missed it. And he did one of these. He tried to cut my toe off. <laughs> this cocksucker tried to cut my f- toe directly off my body. Okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's two old men. <laughs> two- <laughs> For people listening, Lewis isn't dressed like a cab driver. He's dressed like the guy in the little cage that dispatches the cabs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, he... He, he has a knife, and then he's like, he's like, yeah, you're going to try to assault me, bro? I'm going to call the cops. I was like, you pull the roof. I'm going to call the cops. <laughs> yeah. So I don't have my phone on me. So I yeah. see him start to dial 911, mm-hmm. right? So then I start chasing him, right? So he's got now, I, here's what's going on, right? Like in his mind, I could tell he realized. Well, your phone, you film him, he's, he's got the knife. No, I don't, I don't have my phone. My phone's in my car. Yeah, okay. So I um, I could tell what's going on now is like he's a, he's not a thug. This is not a thuggy dude. Okay. This is a guy who has a box cutter for his job. This is like a dude. Yeah, yeah. This is a guy that has to cut boxes. Who felt threatened by a giant Puerto Rican <laughs> <laughs> and felt as if he had no other choice. Yeah, but that's like when you watch X Men and they they try to shoot Magneto. <laughs> like a yeah. box cutter to you is like not not really <laughs> anything. I had no fear of this box cutter. I don't. I have no idea why. You're just moving the box cutter with your mind, kind of. Dog, like, whatever yeah. it was, I was like, yeah. I'm going to take this. No, yeah. So he starts like well, a box cutter can't really kill you. I mean, it could. Uh, you if you if you catch I, a, I guess a if you vein. Get in or a fucking or yeah, you're gonna get slashed though. This beautiful face can't get slashed. Though. Of course, of course. So he starts to like kind of move fast away from me because now we're talking about the cops, and I could tell on his face he comes back to reality. He's like, "Oh, you can't pull box cutters on people. No matter how much sure. you feel threatened by somebody, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't just start pulling box cutters on them, right?" So he's calling the cops now, right? Uh-huh. And I'm and he goes into Blink Fitness, and uh-huh. I go to Blink Fitness, and I'm standing in front of the door. <laughs> Right, and the manager's like, "What's going on?" I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. "He's got a knife. Yeah. He pulled it on me." And now Lewis everyone turned into like a white woman. <laughs> yeah, dude, I turned into a Karen. Now everyone in Blink Fitness is going, "Whoa, there's a guy with a knife!" Right, yeah. and I'm standing in the doorway, and the guy, the Blink Fitness manager, is like, "You got to go outside of the guy." And I was like, "He's not going nowhere." So now I am, I think, kidnapping everyone at Blink Fitness <laughs> <laughs> and making them stay caged with a person with, with a, a knife. knife yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and there's people that can't get out, and I was like, "No, nah, he's staying right there." I was like, "You come outside. Yeah. I'm gonna." Take that knife from you, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm being, I get, do whatever it is. I saw red and I'm just being a crazy person. Mm-hmm. I'm being a crazy person, right? Mm-hmm. Sure enough, the cops roll up. I turn right into white. I was like, this gentleman has, a, <laughs> this gentleman has a blade in his right pocket. Yeah. You should have seen him. And then, um, and you kind of did everything right. You didn't use any slurs. You didn't pull out a weapon. Didn't, didn't I did say, okay. Yeah. Fine. I start calling him other slurs Sorry that had this. nothing to do with him. I started yeah, saying the yeah, N-word. Yeah. He's nuts. Yeah. Um, no. Um, so the cops come, and now they have him inside. And now I'm like, yeah, I'm going to f- this guy's done. Mm-hmm. You're toast, buddy. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, have have fun going to fucking jail for your blade, right? And I, people now people are allowed to go in and out of Blink Fitness, so I just keep on hearing the door like open, and I'm hearing hit par- parts of his side of the story. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, he came up to me, and he attacked me. And I was like, oh, shit, he's saying I attacked him. Like, I didn't touch him. He was like, yeah, he pushed me. I felt threatened. And I, the cops are coming out, and now they're asking me. You pushed him? No, I didn't push him. I didn't touch him. So now they're like, they're like, sir, give me your ID. And I'm like, now in my mind, I'm going, holy shit, dude. I know what this is. Mm-hmm. We're both about to be arrested. Mm-hmm. This is the way this ends, right? It's my word versus his word. He's saying I pushed him and he pulled out a blade because he felt so threatened that he had to mm-hmm. pull out a blade. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm saying that he pulled out a blade. I mean, he's going to obviously be arrested for that, and that's going to be that. It's just going to be two Puerto Ricans going to jail, yeah. and it's just another day in New York City. Yeah. So I changed my tune real quick. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? It's water under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> I was like, really? I was like, yeah, dude. I was like, I got to get to work. I was like, I- I'm not going to see this guy again. Like, yeah, let me yeah, just, because yeah. they were calling, they called the sergeant to come in. They're like, yeah, we're going to get the sergeant to come in uh-huh. and figure out what to do here. And I was like, I can't risk going to f- jail right now. Mm-hmm. I can't risk. So then I left and then I heard them go back inside mm-hmm. and he started freaking out about them letting me leave because uh-huh. he was ready to go to jail to make sure that I was in jail that night. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, he's like, you can't just let him leave. He pushed me, which I didn't push him. You didn't even touch I swear to God, I'd say I pushed him. Mm-hmm. You tried to front kick him. I did try to front kick him. Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah. And little does that guy know, you have a podcast network, and we're going to dox him. 
Well, I had Andrea and her sister go and videotape because he was freaking out for so long. Like this little, he was like, he was losing. I heard him screaming at the cops, being like, "You're just gonna let him go. You're gonna let him go." But in my mind, I'm like, "Buddy, do you not know what happens here? We're both being arrested. I'm saving you. I'm not gonna really get in trouble. I didn't yeah. hit the guy. There's cameras. I guarantee there's." Cameras. I didn't put my hands on the guy. I'm going to go to jail because they have to take you both to jail. That's mm-hmm. what happens with public fights and shit, right? right. That's the way it works. I'm not going to get a charge. I'm not going to get in trouble. It's going to f- my day. That's what sucks. Yeah, yeah. You have a f- blade on you that you're willing to brandish and start slashing at people because you don't, you, you, you quote unquote feel threatened. But you okay? said you front kicked him though, right? I didn't front kick him. Oh. I tried to front kick the blade out of his hand. Oh, okay. But so you didn't make any contact? Didn't make contact. No. Did you yell hi ya? <laughs> <laughs> So no, so that that was that. So I'm 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 more willing to let that man go back out into the world and possibly cut a child's face <laughs> than spend one minute right in police custody. Right, yeah, of course. Have fun. Let him of keep course. his blade. I'm not, you know.